David Norman Discover Battery here. We're outside Redding, California with Jason Andrade, West Coast Sustainables. Uh, we just finished an epic install today doing this uh, X, or I guess, yeah, it's an XW. Yeah. <laughs> Xantrex XW system uh, with the uh, Discover Advanced Energy Batteries. Uh, Jason, I wanted to talk to you a bit because you live off grid, like you, you walk the talk. Um, in terms of the recharge characteristics of lithium batteries versus lead batteries, you know, how did you live with the lead batteries you had before and what were the things you were doing to, uh, I guess, adjust your living around the battery recharge? Mm -hmm. And how do you think you're going to be, you know, operating this household now that you're switched over completely to lithium? I think it's a totally different energy profile. Like currently, or before we did this, you know, we had completely lead acid, wet cells and AGM batteries. And so basically we would be running the generator in our off season, you know, when, when it was cloudy and rainy and we didn't have any solar, we'd be trying to get everything done when the generator is running. So we'd have a two and a half hour, three hour, you know, spurt. Okay, kids, get the laundry. You know? Yeah, get the laundry done, wash the dishes, do everything while the generator is running. Where I think with the recharge rate, what we're going to see differently is we're going to be able to charge these up so much faster and have so much more energy storage that I think that we're going to be able to decrease that time and not worry so much about doing everything when the generator is on. Uh, now, again, typical lead acid profile, bulk absorption float, mm -hmm. you know, the absorption time, you're just constant voltage and your amps are declining. That's why you're able to have that buffer and that range in your generator capacity. Mm -hmm. What do you have for generator capacity here? And how long do you estimate that with those lead acid batteries, you were in that absorbed time frame? Um, with the batteries that I had before, I had three strings. So I was absorbing for about two and a half, three hours. So I would see on a, on a really low depth of discharge, especially towards the end of their lifespan, I would see a three and a half hour generator runtime. I think the biggest thing that I'm going to see now is potentially upgrading my generator so that I can charge these up as fast as possible, still only hit a max charge ratio of roughly 70 to 80% on a generator. Mm -hmm. So that way we don't strain it, but to get everything filled up as fast as possible. And then that way I can conserve my propane. Cool, cool. Uh, again, David Norman Discover Battery, Jason Andrade, West Coast Sustainables, just talking a bit about some of the benefits of lithium batteries. Thanks very much, Jason. Thank you. <laughs>